Hey YouTube, Bud Haggerty here. I can fix that. Um, we're entering into a... My dog Ginger in the background has got to get in the video. Anyways, we're entering into a uh, good part of the year. I live in the Carolinas and this is the time of year where we don't have to have this going on the whole time. That's right, the air conditioner. My electric bill is, was pretty scary the last two months just to keep uh, this house uh, cool. But this time of year, the temperature drops in the morning, it's in the 60s, and we get these days called corkers. And uh, to take advantage of a corker, you need to open up all your windows and your door, that door behind me. I'd like to open that up. And to keep that open, we need to put a screen on, and that's what this video is about, putting the uh, uh, screen on and how to buy the right one and a couple of tips that I like that seems to be better than the manufacturer. You'll see. Okay, here it is package it came in um, open it up you've got basically the instructions the mesh net and the velcro um, the instructions are pretty decent but uh, I just modify them very slightly the first thing they want to do is they, we want to lay it out on the floor lay this all out on the floor and then we're going to attach the velcro to it um, so let's get that done and also by the way, when I lay this out, I want to let you know before when I purchased this, very important, I like to buy the magnetic that is full magnetic all the way down, not the ones that snap together. It's a little cheaper. Don't do that. Get this one. Pay the extra money. Full magnet all the way down. You'll see when we uh, put it together how, how slick it is. Okay, now I got it laid on the floor here, obviously. Uh, this is the bottom half right here. And what I like about this one is there's actually weights there's extra weight down there that's going to keep this thing when it hangs gravity is going to be your friend putting weight down there is a very good idea another thing before i get going i want to double check you got to order the right size for your door door openings could be 32 inch door 36 inch door well um i actually my door's uh 32 inches so uh this should be Definitely over 32 inches. I think it should be around 34 34 inches somewhere around there and it's yep right at 34 inches So this this would be the right one for this door. Obviously if I had a 36 inch door it wouldn't work so Make sure you, on you when you're ordering this on Amazon you get the right size. You won't be a happy camper Okay, here's the velcro it comes with Take this out of the back here One section, this section here, goes up top here. And they say to connect it prior to putting it on the door. So we'll do that. We'll come up here. Wow, that's tough. A little bit more. I'm gonna put it about one inch over because I can always trim it later on. And then get this to mesh up nice here. Run it all the way down. That's out perfect there. That's all sitting in there nice. Okay, I just got done putting this piece on all the way across. That's it. Um, I'm gonna leave this a half an inch extra. I left it an inch, it's a little too much. I'm gonna take this off right here. Cuts a half an inch extra on that side and a half an inch extra on this side. That gives me some a little flexibility when I put it in there. So that's done. Now I'll just roll this out, these guys out on both sides, and uh, cut it and we'll be in business. They only give you one piece for both sides, which is not a problem. We're gonna cut it. So you start right up here, nice and tight. And do it little by little, little section by little section, so you can get it spot on. Super easy. Just work it all the way down, making sure it's all flat in the area you put it on. This is a little critical, but it's really easy.
Okay, now that that's done, which is pretty easy, uh, they want us to clean the door frame. So let's go clean the door frame of any debris. Okay, here's the door frame they're talking about. The exterior perimeter of this door frame. They want it to be clean for the Velcro to stick to, which to me makes perfect sense. So uh, let's uh, clean it up a bit. I like to use a cloth, not paper towels, because that leaves debris. This is an old cloth that I'm offline that I used to clean other stuff with, but uh, little glass cleaner up there. The spiders don't like it. But that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do, spray that on there. Just give it a good little bit of elbow grease and get this perimeter all cleaned up. This next part is kind of an added feature. Um, most people won't have to do it, but after you clean your door, uh, you got to get your dog off the screen to install the screen. So uh, you, get off. Are you talking to me? Get off the screen. Well, you don't have to be so snippy about it. It has to be done sometimes. Uh, you got to be cruel to be kind. That's one of my favorite songs. Okay, on the instructions, they give you these little pins, these little push pins. And it's a little vague what to do with them. Um, I'm going to use them to secure it in place temporarily to make sure I got everything aligned up of the particulars they want. So let's, uh, let's use these to temporarily align it. And I'll show you how to do it at the very end. That's uh, way better than this, but uh, I'm gonna use them. I'm, yes. a, I'm on a stool at the highest part of the door frame. And do you see that mark right there? That is 16 inches. 16 inches is the exact center of this door jam. It's very critical to me to make sure to know where the center is to align this up. And next, I'm gonna put the mesh up here and pin it, pin the center first before I do either side. Here's another tip I like to do too. Um, they don't tell you this in the instructions. I took my scissors and I s barely scraped it on each side so I could take this piece off. This is the center of the screen. That's gonna be my first part I mount on the door at the very top. That's why I did that. So once I stick a pin in there, the adhesive's already stuck in the proper spot it'll be easy for me to get these sides off and peel it off. Sometimes when you're doing a job, you gotta be able to be willing to change. As far as the pin's concerned, uh, I don't even need it. I took that little area that I stuck on there and I still have my backing on both sides here, as you can tell. I stuck this dead center right down the middle. This is the center point of the screen. I pushed it on there. I do not even need a pin right now, so why would I even waste my time? Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to peel this side all the way off and this side all the way off and make the adhesive go all the way across the top here on both sides. And they told you as a tip to make this slightly higher than the sides over here, each side. So I'm, I got it about a quarter inch higher as the two sides. I know my sides are gonna be perfect because I'm dead center here. So I don't have to worry about my sides. That's why I did the center part first. Okay, I'm pushing it down with my hand and I've got that Velcro all on there and that is so sticky because we cleaned it well. This is really, really secure up here. I mean, it's, it can definitely, definitely. Look at that, one more time, just pushing that all down a little force we've got the top secured the sides are all free to go yet so now we'll make sure everything's centered before we do that see this is what it looks like from the inside we're completely secure up top but I've got her swinging and they tell you to make sure you have the bottom off the ground because you don't want it to scrape two centimeters um, mine probably be a little bit more I don't really care if a bug's that ambitious to get in here, I might get one in there, but for the most part, this thing's gonna block a lot of bugs. Okay, now we got this peeled off a little bit here. We wanna pull this down and keep that line reference, which is about a quarter of a three eighths of an inch, quarter of an inch. I wanna keep that straight all the way down. Nice and, and then boom. 
That glue really sticks well. Be consistent with the distance from there. If that's consistent, it's gonna be uniform all the way down. And you're really gonna like the results. So that's my marker. That's what I'm shooting for. Go all the way down to the bottom. This is the one side. And I'm gonna show you what I got. See at the bottom there, you can tell that's how much space I'm gonna have two couple of centimeters higher or in the world our world looks like a solid inch like I said if a bug wants to crawl under that uh, my dog will get them but you can see the center of this is a little bit higher than the end there they want you to do that because I, I, I know over time this magnet will pull on that mesh this magnet right here will pull on that mesh and that will come down a little bit that's why you want it higher so it doesn't sag you know, we don't like stuff that sags. Well, at least I don't. Let's do the other side. I've already got it that far down. I'm just gonna pull this down. Let me adjust my camera. We're moving right along. Pull that off, down. And again, just be consistent and keep the distance all proportional. It's relatively easy to do. And now gravity's my friend. Everything's falling down. So that's tight right there. And I keep going to the bottom. Okay, this is our finished product. As you can see, it's, it looks pretty good. All tight, all the way around. I'm going down the bottom there. It'll work its way out over when gravity works out and this thing stretches a little bit. I think we'll be in real good shape. But I'm gonna show you one more thing that I do to ensure this adhesive doesn't come off or the sticky stuff, which I've seen happen before because this isn't my first rodeo. There she is, all installed and they're telling you really not to go through that adhesive for like 24 hours or something like that. Well, here's where I'm gonna part ways with that idea. I like the adhesive and the way it sticks and I'm not sure about the pins that they give you if I'm supposed to stick those in or not, but I'm gonna do something here that I've done before and it outlasts the material on there. And uh, I think it's, uh, I think you'll like it. Without further ado, let me say hello to my little friend, the power stapler. The power stapler has thicker staplers. And what I'm gonna do is shoot this perimeter because I like it, it's in place exactly where I want it. I'm gonna shoot it with the power stapler all the way around. And I don't even care if that adhesive comes, it really can't come off because I'm gonna shoot it about every, I don't know, 18 inches. Definitely across the top and down the sides and that's where she'll stay until that thing burns up and I need a new one. Here's the uh, staples for the power shot. You know, instead of getting a little pin pushed in there, you're getting uh, two pins and that area between that holds that mesh where it won't rip out. Really, really better way of securing it. I like to get one right here. Oh, that's sweet. All my corners. And one over here. Let me give it a little torque. I pushed so hard, I almost fell off the chair. Let me see. There it is, boom. Now I don't have to worry about this ever coming down. The heat adhesives and three industrial staples. Well, I know what some of you are saying right now. That doesn't look pretty. Why didn't he put it on the other side and then have the Velcro? Well, I wanted the, that to hold the Velcro, but if you think it looks bad, look at this little fix here. Take Mr. Sharpie right here and just blacken it out. Okay, she's pretty much installed. And the last thing I'll say about this, um, why I bought this one, again, the continuous magnets. 
There's magnets all the way down the entire seam where they come together. And the reason you want that is, one thing, it's silent, and two, it just makes it so much nicer than you'll see gaps later on. I bought a cheap one before and that's what happened. Um, even though these are still relatively cheap. Look at this, open it up. You don't hear anything, all the way down. So that's it, it's pretty simple. Uh, I think you can do it and uh, thanks for watching. I can fix that and we'll see you next time.